Hello and welcome to downtown West Milton, Ohio. I'm JT Zabo and this is the 2015 Independence Day Parade. Live from downtown West Milton, Ohio, we're glad to have you on West Milton Public Access Television. As we take a look at this year's parade, one of the largest ones we've had so far, over 90 entrants as the Beatley sisters welcome us with our ceremonial flag waving. Of course, the Miami County Sheriff's Department also a big part of this, and we'd like to send out a very special thank you to all of our law enforcement and first responders who made this possible today. Of course, with the banner, like we just saw Emma and Rachel Beatley, their mother Joy Beatley, a big part of this parade making it happen for all of us to enjoy. Uh, as well as coming up will be our American Legion walker with the flags and our Air Force honor guard as they approach our perimeter shortly. Like we said, one of the largest parades we've had on record so far prior to today. We had over 90 registrants. Uh, so this one's going to be a big one, folks. And we're all excited. The weather is beautiful. It's about 72 degrees, not a cloud in the sky here on Miami Street in downtown West Milton. Before we get too far into it, we'd like to thank our friends at Irwin Chrysler Dodge Jeep in Troy for the use of multiple vehicles you'll see today during the parade. Uh, we'd like to thank Ron and Matt and their entire staff at Irwin for helping out make today's parade such a huge success. Of course, no Independence Day parade would be great without the many American flags that we see throughout the parade route today, as well as multiple volunteers and staff throughout the entire municipality of West Milton. Of course, this year was a, a little bit of a, a new event for a lot of people as uh, longtime parade organizer Susan Dowdy Willis, uh, no longer a part of the event. She has moved, and so a lot of other people have really taken over and kind of made the parade their own. And, and we mentioned Joy Beatley, Scott Fogel, a councilman, uh, Sarah Kopp and her husband David, all a big part of this event, as well as, like we said, the West Milton Police Department, who have been very helpful. Uh, even delivering some information last minute, a couple of our last minute entrants getting the police touch as they came in. And of course, we definitely want to thank everyone tuning in on the World Wide Web through our YouTube stream, through West Milton Public Access Television, as well as our Facebook. Be sure to give us a like and even comment on what you like so far on our YouTube channel. We like to Thank everyone for tuning in, whether you're here in Ohio or elsewhere in the world. Our little community here in West Milton reaches all over the world. I hear some drums, and coming in we'll have, like I said, our Air Force Honor Guard along with the American Legion to present our flags. And then right after that we'll get to see our first glimpse of this year's Grand Marshal. Jack Scudmore, and of course he'll be in a vehicle, and Jack, a big part of putting this together is while we mentioned a lot of the other volunteers, uh, whether it's council members or, or other volunteers that have been a big part of this, Jack himself has been a huge part of organizing and making sure that we had the numbers this year that we're fortunate enough to have, and I think with the weather being as nice and, and perhaps one of the nicest weather days that we've had in the last maybe five or six years that we've done this, um, the turnout so far just on a rough estimate, probably one of the highest that we've had as well. So uh, as we take a look down the street, you're going to see the colors being presented again by the Air Force Honor Guard uh, and the American Legion. And we're going to take a moment here to soak this in and enjoy the band as the Milton Union Alumni Band under the direction of Steve Schulman will be right behind. So let's take a moment and honor our nation's independence.
And as we see our Grand Marshal Jack Scudmore right there, along with the Union Township trustees, let's take a moment and enjoy our Milton Union Alumni Band. Coming into frame is the Church of Nazarene in West Milton with their famous barrel train. A number of children enjoy the barrel train every year. Courtesy of the Church of the Nazarene are advertising their upcoming vacation Bible school. Their theme this year, having barrels of fun. And indeed we all are. As coming up. leadership of the church. Followed by With Open Hands, led by Amy Heisey. And they provide adult day services for persons with developmental disabilities throughout West Milton, Union Township, and throughout Miami County. And they're conducting a 50-50 raffle today as well on the side of the parade to raise funds for their efforts, and we do thank them for joining us. And perhaps one of the newest neighbors of our West Milton community is Clark's Pizza, led by Patty Engel, now serving West Milton in the greater West Milton area. A staple in Covington for years, Clark's now in the former Diana's Pizza location, and we certainly welcome them to West Milton and Union Township, including the Pizza Guy. And that's probably the best description I can think of of a guy made entirely out of pizza. So we like to thank them as well. And coming up, some dignitaries. Dwayne Hunt, Duke as they like to call him. He is a prisoner of war veteran from World War II. And he looks on to the crown. Certainly glad to have him celebrated as part of our Independence Day festivities here in downtown West Milton, Ohio, along Miami Street. And here comes our Grand Marshal for the event. And we'd like to again thank Jack and his wife, the Scudmores, for their help putting today's event together. Coming up right behind him is the mayor, Fred Francis. Mayor Francis enjoying his first term in office as the mayor of West Milton. We like to thank him for allowing us to do what we do. Coming up next is Vice Mayor Jason Tinnerman. Jason also instrumental in making sure that not only this parade goes off without a hitch, but also supporting West Milton Public Access Television. Very important to have him on our side, and he's done a fantastic job as vice mayor in the first term in that position. Anthony Miller, council member and his entire family, coming into frame there. We'd like to thank Anthony for being a part of this event today. Coming up in the very nice Irwin Chrysler Prowler is council member Karen Grudich. Certainly riding in style today. Again, thanks to Irwin Chrysler Dodge Jeep in Troy. And Don Dorman coming up next in the Chrysler Sebring brought to you by Irwin in Troy. Don, a big friend and supporter of West Milton Public Access Television, along with his wife and son. Mr. Deals making an appearance as Scott Fogel, councilman, big friend of the program, 
Scott Fogel's ride again brought to you by Mr. Deals here in West Milton. And of course, how can we miss little Mr. and Miss Firecracker? Ellie Bloom and Levi Broombach this year have the honors of being named Little Mr. and Miss Firecracker as part of the event, and we thank them for being a part of it. And so let's take this moment to enjoy the smooth sounds of the West Milton Alumni Band. Perhaps most fitting their slogan this year is Old Dogs Never Die, as we thank the Milton Union Bulldogs Alumni hey. Band. And so we're going to welcome one of our equestrian rides to this year's parade. Thanks to Pinewood Farms and Rachel Payton. We'd like to thank them for being a part of that. As well as Sandy Fairban. And of course, Taylor Binkley with their horses, all a part of this year's festivities. And well, perhaps one of the most unenvious jobs of the parade this year. Looks like they're well prepared Although he probably doesn't want to shake his hand. Oh, he does. Oh, well, that surprised me a little bit. I'll have to have one of our producers send over a courtesy basket of Purell for that gentleman. But we thank them for their service, picking up some of the unmentionables that we've seen dropped onto the roadway so far. And coming up. Englewood Towing and Recovery. Bringing out a large American flag. We thank them for joining us. Big thanks to owner Richard Dunn for being a part of it. And of course we're seeing a Kenworth T800 with 60 and 50 ton integrated winches. A big thanks to Inglewood Truck. Towing and recovery out of Inglewood, Ohio. I also like to thank Hollis Towing out of Dayton for joining us today as well. And out of Athens, Ohio, in 1966, King Midget. And we'd like to thank the owner of that, Carl Coe, for being a part of our parade and his midget. Also with Gary Dilbert and his custom Chevrolet. And our 2015 Miami County Beef Queen, Savannah Hoke. We'd like to thank Savannah for being a part of our festivities today. Wave to the camera. Larry Powers in his custom Rambler. Well, it looks to be a little Shih Tzu dog in there as well. Having the time of its life, I'm sure. 
Now for the Central Western Firemen's Association. Repped by the Bradford Fire Department in nearby Bradford, Ohio, just on the county line between Miami and Dark County. I'd like to thank them for being a part of it as well. Terry Applegate. And of course, they're proud to host the 85th Firemen's Convention in Bradford, Ohio on the 17th and 18th of this year. We thank the Applegates for that. Melton Union, T-Ball, Mason, Dillon, Dalton, Carlton, Jackson, and Luke, as well as the fast pitch 10 and under group. We like to thank them for being a part. Melton Union Recreation Association, a big part of the festivities every year. And of course, Grace Baptist Church joining us. We like to thank them, representing their Ed to the Edge Vacation Bible School on August 3rd through the 7th, throwing out some candy to everyone. That's certainly one of the most popular parts of it. And coming up is another midget. This one, Sam Neiswanger's 1971 MG midget. We'd like to thank him. I'm sure he's scooping up some candy in there as well. How about a throwback for you farm fans? This is a John Deere 1949 Model A, written by Randy, Colin, Ava, and Aubrey, and we thank them for being a part of this event as well. And how about Councilwoman Sarah Kopp, driven by her, dis, by her husband, David. Sarah, a big part of the parade. We like to thank her for her help as well. Longtime resident in her first term in office as a councilwoman here in Milton. <laughs> and after some late entrance to our parade, we'd like to welcome the Milton Union Public Library. This year's campaign, all about superheroes, and they are superheroes to those of us that enjoy reading. And here comes the evil book burner, the foe of many a good bookworm. Thanks to our new friends of the Milton Union Public Library, led by Elaine Pickering. And the book burner is in jail for burning books. So thanks to our superhero readers for putting that together. Here's Ohio House of Representatives Steve Huffman, representing the 80th District. I'd like to thank Steve for being a part of our humble festivities here in West Milton this year. And of course, how can you have a parade in Miami County without the Miami County Commissioners? Driven by Bev Mumford, you got Richard Coltis, Jack Evans, and Bud O'Brien as we welcome them to the parade this year. And of course, our friends from the West Milton Senior Citizen Center. Led by Carol Garver. And of course, they invite all seniors to join them at the center. time is it? Oh yeah, it's almost election time. Here comes our Miami County Republican Club looking dapper in their trendy red. Waving upon the crowd. And how about some baseball? The G-Ball teams from Milton Union led by Zach Keys joining us on a float. Waving to the crowd. G-Ball a step above T-Ball. Again, part of the West Milton, Milton Union Recreation Association, like to thank them. Go Bulldogs, as always. And how about some John Deere's? Thanks to Leroy Smith with his old John Deere tractors and wagons, waving to the crowd. I'd like to thank our friends at Ron's Deers in Pleasant Hill for supplying some of the action as far as our John Deers go. 
And a beautiful day for a tractor ride through downtown West Milton as we, again we welcome you to the 2015 Independence Day Parade here in West Milton, Ohio. I am JT Zabo. Glad to have everyone along for the ride as we enjoy the perhaps one of the largest parades we've had in record years. Let's sit back and listen to these puppies purr. Also welcoming the Ohio National Guard, Shana Honeyman, local to the area. I'd like to thank her for being a part of it, sneaking in between the tractors on us, but we do appreciate her being here. And there's Team Fraley T-Ball, sponsored by Dayton Children's. I'd like to thank them for being a part of it. Along with Stillwater Tree Service and Colleen Poteet. She was on the sand rail dune buggy we saw. Well, let's take a minute and listen to the United Methodist Church, John Hoffman. Large community of Hoffman United Methodist here on the parade route along with a little bit of Christian rock to go along with a beautiful day here to celebrate our independence in downtown West Milton, Ohio. I'd like to thank them. And how about some Girl Scouts? Girl Scout Troop 30791 led by Stephanie Ruby here in West Milton. We thank them for being a part of it, girls. As they wave to the crowd, Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts for that matter, very active here in West Milton and certainly do a lot of community service projects as we await West Milton Baptist Church. West Milton Baptist Church is led by Chris Horn in the parade. And we do thank them for joining us. We thank them as we turn our attention down to the West Milton Masonic Lodge. Lodge number 577. We thank Terry Wall and his crew for joining us today. Enjoying this beautiful weather here in downtown West Milton along with their sand rail dune buggy. And as we look off into the distance, a very familiar sight to those here from West Milton. As coming into focus is the Iwanas Club and the Giant Chicken. Have to love the chicken from the chicken church here in West Milton. Some more vehicle entries. We like to thank them for being a part of this year's parade as they wave on to the crowd. And coming into view, some of our Boy Scouts now take their turn on the parade, although it's always nice to have ladies first, but this is our first Boy Scout entry. Boy Scout Troop 60 since 1937. I'd like to thank Pack 360 here in West Milton. Boy Scout Troop 60, Cub Scout Pack 360. A big part 
And coming up is Jeremy Everding in his race car. Races locally at a number of area tracks in the number 13 car. Like to thank him for joining us. If you've never seen a chalkboard on wheels, there you go. Painted in chalkboard paint, the Ford <laughs> F100. And coming into view is Girl Scout Troop 31024, led by Joy Beatley and, well, my wife, Jamie Zabo. And we like to thank Girl Scout Troop 31024. Why so serious? That one I think is directed at me. I'm pretty sure it was. And so here comes the second half of the troop. A lot of girls and Girl Scouts here in West Milton, and we thank every one of them for being a part of our parade today. This one led by Joy Beatley, who also had a huge hand, and I can't say this enough, in organizing not only the floats, but also putting everything together for us as well. And of course, our Miami County Poultry Queen, Emmy Eichenauer. We like to thank her for being a part of this as well. And our poultry prince as well. Our poultry prince, Wyatt Neff. And of course, the Corvette Club of Troy joining us today. They actually had to race over from the Troy Independence Day Parade earlier this morning in order to get here in time. And they got here just in the nick of time and we appreciate them being a part of our parade this year. Again, like to thank the Corvette Club of Troy for being a part of this. And here comes Dayton Freight, representing the Milton Union Recreation Association G-Ball team. Dayton Freight, a big part of our parade for a number of years now. And again, we'd like to thank Fred Cherry and his entire organization through Dayton Freights. Again, Fred, a big friend of Milton Union and our Independence Day festivities. A number of years on the parade, we thank him for his support. And so one of the most anticipated events this year, it doesn't happen every year, but this year Lonnie from Saunders Towing decided, you know what, what the heck, let's see how many tow trucks we can put in a row. And you're gonna see over 150 feet of tow equipment all connected together. And we thank Saunders Towing, serving the community for over 30 years. Doesn't happen every year, but we're lucky to have Lonnie put them together this year, and we thank him for that, as we're gonna see a ton of tow trucks and just the power that these machines have. That's right, that first tow truck is towing all of these trucks. Well, that's certainly why they call them the Elite Fleet. And so, Five tow trucks all towed together is an impressive spectacle that we can all enjoy for sure. And I'm pretty sure before, before we went on the air, someone mentioned something about a tow train. And if I've ever seen a tow train, I think this would qualify. So we do thank Saunders Towing for being a big part of it this year. Up. Oh, you know what time it is, folks. We can't finish the parade without saluting our first responders from the West Milton Fire Department and every other department in Union Township in the surrounding area. Let's take a moment and thank these gentlemen for what they do, especially the volunteers and their families. And let's soak this in. <laughs>
And so we'd like to thank our friends from the Milton Union Fire Department. And here comes our friends from Ludlow Falls. Ludlow Falls, just down 48. I'd like to thank them as well as Laura, as that's coming into your screen now, the Laura Fire Department. And coming into screen shortly will be the Union Township Life Squad, the ambulance and emergency medical provider for Milton Union and Union Township. thank Union Township for being a part of this as well, the Life Squad here in West Milton. And so we'd like to thank everyone for tuning in this year. One of the best parades we've had on record, one of the largest ones by far, and it just keeps getting better every year. Well, I'm JT Zabel. Thanks for joining us for the 2015 Independence Day Parade from downtown West Milton, Ohio, for our entire crew, including Tom behind the camera right now and our entire West Milton Public Access Station. I'm JT Zabel for one final time. Hey, we'll see you next year.